Hi, I'm Jessica Castellini and this is JC Boutique um, here in Cincinnati, Ohio. We started, opened up about four years ago. Um, I was a graphic designer by trade for nearly 20 years and this was always making things was kind of my side hustle and so eventually it got to the point that it got big enough that we wanted to take a chance and open a brick and mortar store. So um, in January 2020, we opened our store and COVID hit in March. <laughs> so um, it's been a roller coaster of a ride. Um, we got our Creo printer, I guess almost two years ago, I think. Um, we started out with sublimation um, and then we have had a DTF printer and we are using it to make t-shirts. I got the DTF printer because it printed white. Um, the limitation with sublimation is you can't print on black shirts and everybody wants dark color t-shirts. So, um, and cutting in weed and vinyl, that's not, it doesn't have a good feel. It's So we were looking for something that could print white um, and that would make it easier to do dark shirts. So we got a DTF printer. Um, if you're not familiar with the technology, it is an, um, it's ink based, um, liquid ink and you, print it onto film and then you have to add powder and then you heat that powder up which makes the adhesive um, and it's a very messy process um, it's also pretty slow um, we bought a desktop unit which is what we could afford at the time and it still was almost a couple thousand dollars um, but it would take I don't know 18 minutes or so to print a full 13 by 19 sheet um, before you could even start doing um, t-shirts and at that time when we were using that printer um, our hometown football team here was making a run for the Super Bowl so we were making a lot of t-shirts I literally was sleeping on the shop floor to change the paper it would only feed one piece of paper at a time so I had to feed the paper in one at a time to um, get the machine going and keep it going so after that season which was a phenomenal um, season for the city or all the small businesses around here um, I started looking for something else because it was just not feasible to keep up with the demand. Um, and then there was lots of clogs and lots of maintenance and you'd spend 40 minutes cleaning the thing if you left it sit for more than a day. So it had lots of downfalls. The amount of production time it took, it just was not, um, it wasn't great for business. So I found the Creo and um, had to talk myself into buying it, but um, probably the most expensive piece of equipment I bought um, for our business, but I, if I had to do it over, I'd have bought it years ago because it really made things so much faster and easier. Um, I can print 20 pages a minute, I think, on the thing. Um, it's so easy. I can crank out so many transfers. Um, we have them in our shop and sleeves. People can just come in, grab their grab their de decal we make the shirt on the fly and then once I got it realized it does so much more than t-shirts um, we use it on all kinds of apparel hats leggings we use it on purses um, koozies um, earrings I don't even know all kinds of stuff I mean there's literally 40 or 50 different things that um, we make with it um, we it also can change the paper and you're making something totally different. So you have your t-shirt paper, then you have your tattoo paper, you have your hard surface paper, you can do imitations, there's foils you can add on. It's even small enough you can take it to shows with you. Like if you wanted to load that bad boy up, take that and your heat press to shows, you can make shirts at at the show on demand if you if you wanted to. I'm, I've never taken it to the show, but I have taken my heat press and transfers to shows. So you don't even have to take the printer, but you can take that work and you can be making items on the fly at, at a show. And if you've ever been to a cheer comp or a soccer tournament, there's booths of people just making shirts like that all day long, print and press, print and press, print and press. So I feel like it's just a multi-use machine that can definitely grow your business. This is your transfer that comes out. So on this one, I have one, two, three t-shirts, one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of earrings, and one koozie. So when people say how expensive the material is, 
Well, that's $22, $22, $22. So there's $66. Six earrings times $20 a pair is another, what, $180, $4 for the koozie. So I almost paid for a pack of paper with this one sheet of paper. So if you maximize your space, make lots of little things to go with it. Um, I don't even worry about the cost of paper anymore. I used to, when I first got the machine, I'm like, holy crap, $4 a piece? But I make it worth it. So then you just have to add your, your glue sheet to it. It's not messy whatsoever. You do need a decent heat press. Mine's a 16 by 20, but it's not a name brand press. So you don't have to have a name brand press to do it. Um, but you do need a a good one, a big size one if you're gonna if you're gonna do it. I made a t-shirt the first day I set this thing up. There was no I did watch a lot of YouTube before I uh while I waited for it to arrive. I love YouTube videos and so I watched every video, all the content was available, I watched it over and over again. So um, once I got it, I we got it up and running and it was pretty it was pretty cool. But we are making shirts the same. And then once this one comes off, I put another one on and I'll start cutting that one out while this next one's cooking and we just have a total assembly line of, of making transfers. I can, if I'm pressing shirts on a roll, I can, I think I can do close to 30 an hour t-shirts, press and peel them. Cut all those out and we're ready to go. And our folks here, they come in, they pick out, we call it make and take. They grab their t-shirt they want or sweatshirt, whatever they got out there. And they pick out their decal and we make it and they take it with them on the fly. And you can do this on a polyester, cotton, mixed blends, doesn't matter. If I was doing like performance wear, I'd just drop the temperature down a little bit. Um, this can press, I think, all the way down to 280, I think. I think we do 285 on our, um, like, performance blend. And sublimation, you can't go that low, so it burns sometimes, in my opinion. And then I just take my little, little golden gals on here. 30 seconds, that's it. A lot of people will say this isn't great for um, bulk ordering, but um, like we did some color run t-shirts for local school. There was like 300 shirts, but we created the design to fit three on a page and it was cheaper than sending it out because it had like five colors. And when you're doing screen printing, um, you pay by the color. So we design our artwork to maximize the sheet. Um, and then once it's cool, this is the nervous part because it feels like you're ripping it, but you're not. And then there's my little lady on the shirt. They do have a finishing sheet. It's called a T-seal sheet um, that you just second press to kind of finish it off and seal it into the fabric. I don't have any issues with, I, I don't even know that I've ever had a shirt return as far as, you know, for not staying on or not being washable or whatever. We do give out washing instructions, you know, inside out, tumble dry low, that kind of stuff. But um, I, our return customer base is huge. So I know that they, they're good. I mean, I have shirts that I've been wearing a year or more and they're still fully on there. That's it. I don't know what it take us two minutes, two minutes or something. There you go. Done. When you're searching for printers and looking for printers, one of the things I always look for is what the warranty is. And at the time I was comparing that to um, 
am I allowed to say the name of the other company? You, the Uninet or whatever it was. So um, I was looking at both Uninet and the, and the Creo, and I talked to representatives from both companies, um, and I really felt the Uninet, I started to see there was a lot of them out on um, like Facebook Marketplace for sale. And so I started questioning, just reaching out to people like, why are you selling it, blah, blah. And I got some very, not great reviews on, on the thing. So I, um, when I looked, the warranty for that was if there was anything wrong, you have to ship them. You have to ship the printer to them. And I'm like, well, that's not really feasible when I'm in the midst of running a business or whatever. So when I talked to the people at Creo, and they, the people that I worked with at Creo with um, Stitch and International, they did not try to sell me this printer. They just, they were very honest. They asked me what I, you know, what my use was going to be. Like, I never felt like I was getting sold a printer. And that was kind of a good thing that I liked about it. But they said the warranty, if anything goes wrong, they come to you. And they would come here and service it. If they can't service it, then obviously they'd have to take it with you or whatever. But, um... In the very beginning, I did have to call service, um, getting the um, like the rip software set up or whatever. But it was a it was a quick message to my sales rep, um, five minute phone call with with the tech guy. I needed to check a couple boxes and click a couple things, and I was on my way. I literally have not had any trouble with that printer whatsoever. The only things I've had to change are my toner refills, and I've had to replace one drum, I think, at this point, which those are, that's just normal, you know, use wear and tear or whatever. But um, I went on vacation for two weeks this summer. I came back, I cranked it on and printed just like it did day one. There is no cleaning of heads or anything like that. There's no inky mess. It really is easy to use and it's easy to maintain. So if you're a person who, if you're not a person who prints every single day, DTF will not work. You have to keep your printer running and using it daily. If it sits more than a day or two, it's gonna be a hot mess. Um, and I mean a literal mess. There's ink everywhere. You have to plunge the lines, do all kinds of crazy stuff. This thing, if we go on vacation and close, no big deal. If we're, if we're not in a busy season, no big deal. Um, and the cartridges last a really long time. Like, as soon as like one gets down, like on the second or third bar, I go ahead and order one, but just so I have it, but it might be a month or more before I actually have to replace the thing. So yes, it's expensive when you buy them, but they last, not, not when you do the math and figure out how many prints you're getting or whatever. Yeah, so I would say, so for me personally, I had, I started out with vinyl and then I went to sublimation and then I went to, you know, white ink printing. This system is very user friendly. If you can, you know, run a computer and send something to a printer, you can pretty much use the system. The benefit of the system is what you can do. So I can have someone call me at 9 a.m. and they need a t-shirt by noon and I can have that printed, pressed, and ready to go by noon. Not that I like those timelines, but if you're in retail and you're doing custom work, you know that's what it is. It's a last minute birthday gift or anniversary gift or someone forgot something or their Amazon order didn't show up or their Etsy order was wrong. Whatever it is, um, it does give you the ability to turn around items pretty quickly um, and to customize things. You can buy store-bought items and bling them out. I buy shoes and I add stuff to shoes. I buy purses and I add stuff to purses. I make those, I don't sit and sew all the purses up, but we can add extra things to store-bought items really, really quickly using the spare spaces on the printout. So every sheet of paper, I get at least two t-shirts out of it in this spare empty space. I'll have a keychain, an earring, maybe a koozie, whatever, from those little blank spaces around your, you know, around your print. And those, those things add up, you know, people don't bat an eye at $4 koozies. I sell thousands of them a year, you know, like it's, it's a small item, $3 keychains, $4 koozies. And we just sell tons of those kind of little knickknack things that people need an add on for a gift or whatever. And this printer allows you to make way more than just t-shirts. I mean, if, and if you're, if your business is apparel, great. Now you can do t-shirts, hats, leggings, socks, whatever you want to do, you can do it with the printer. So I feel like 
It gives you a lot more variety if you're trying to expand your business. Um, you have customer service there if you need it. And there is a wealth of knowledge in groups on Facebook and places like that. Like you post in those groups and the, the admins who are running it literally have messaged me directly to answer my questions. They don't have to do that. They're not getting paid to do that. But um, you learn so much from the other people who have the systems and are using the systems. And I just feel like, I don't know, it's, if you have an, have an established business and you're looking to make more items faster and turn around more product, there's just so many things that this piece of equipment does. Um, and I just feel like we, we try to maximize every, every penny of it, you know, and it, it just has done amazing things for my business. deal with customer support or have anyone come look at the printer? No, because oh, I've okay. never had a problem. <laughs> That's what I